टी टू पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स स्टॉप गो लिमिटेड एन ऑल इक्विटी फाइनेंस कंपनी इज कंसिडरिंग रीपर्चेज ऑफ टू हंड्रेड लैक्स इक्विटी एंड टू रिप्लेस इट विथ फिफ्टीन परसेंट डेट सो अनलिवर्ड कंपनी इज प्लानिंग टू बिकम अड कंपनी करंट मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ द कंपनी सो राइट नाउ इट इज अनलिवर्ड एंड मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ द कंपनी इज वन वन फोर जीरो लैक्स वैल्यू ऑफ अ फर्म इज वन वन फोर जीरो इट्स कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट so ke will be also 20% because there is no kd earning before interest and tax are expected to remain constant in the future ebit is not given but we can easily find out its entire earnings are distributed as dividend applicable tax rate is 30% so let me uh, do the current calculation there will be ebit minus taxes which are 30% i will be getting eat why i have not deduct interest because interest is not in the picture this is an unlevered firm and i have got answer of value of a firm which is 1140 lakhs value of debt is zero so value of equity is also 1140 i am also having ke can i say well ke is equal to earnings available to equity shareholders divided by value of equity so ke is the 20 percentage or 0.20 earnings available to equity shareholders we are not knowing divided by value of equity is 1140 so earnings available to equity shareholders 1140 into 0.2 is 228 228 is earnings available to equity shareholders there would have been tax deducted so ebit see if this is 100 this is 30 and this is 70 you can easily do cross multiplication 228 divided by 70% which is 325.71 which is ebit and which is expected to remain same convert this company into a levered company ebit is going to remain same which is 325.71 minus interest interest will be 200 lakhs of which will be 30 lakhs this is earning before tax to 95.71 206.997 this is tax at the rate of 30% and this is earning after tax or earnings available to equity shareholders what they want us the market value of the company that is new company market value of new company will be value of levered firm is value of unlevered firm plus debt into tax value of unlevered firm we are already knowing 1140 plus 
debt will be 200 into 30 percent so this will be 1200 so value of a firm will be 1200 value of debt is 200 so value of equity will be 1000 lakhs i can easily find out ke by earnings available to equity shareholders divided by value of equity which is 206.997 divided by 1000 which is 20.70 approximately i can find out ke by which method ke is equal to ko plus debt into 1 minus t upon equity ko minus kd will give the same answer i can find out ko how i can find out ko is ebit into 1 minus t upon value of firm ebit is a 325.71 1 minus t will be 0 0.70 upon value of firm is Eighteen point nine nine nine. That is nineteen percent. What is another method? Method of finding it out is the sigma i w divided by sigma w. We will be having post k d fifteen percent into one minus t. We are having k e. Uh, write down the weights of equity and debt. Find out sigma i w divided by sigma w. In all suggested, this answers would be given, but this is absolutely shortcut correct answer, which is 19%, uh, which is nothing but K.